also have our jury chair, Sanjim Raj Shekhar of Flipkart, who's here, and may I request you to please address the audience with a loud round of applause, please. Sanjim, you're okay with this? Itni tali chalegi? Yes. Huh? Oh. Uh, thank you, Suparna. First of all, I'd like to actually compliment uh, Exchange for Media for uh, putting this award now for the seventh year in succession. Just imagine, uh, we actually now have three awards. That, uh, there are three PR awards in the country today. Post-2008, so pre-2008, there were no awards. There were no awards, so therefore, there were only perhaps a handful of entries that were going to some award ceremonies in Asia Pacific and maybe one to global or maybe nothing to global. I think what the Exchange for Media has done in 2008, right, 2008 was the first one, is actually brought in the whole concept of rigor in your campaign because if you have to enter your campaign for an award, you need to have a rigor, you need to have some kind of measurability, you need to have, you need to have all the elements in. I think people start, I think the entire PR industry started thinking about awards, not just how to write it, but actually a year before how to really start planning for an award with that. And uh, I'd like to actually compliment Exchange for Media for the pioneering work that, they, that, that E4M has done and continues to do so. Okay, we should have a loud round of applause for that one at least, guys. <laughs> Blow some trumpets for E4M as well, guys. Come on. <laughs> we are actually living in very interesting times. Uh, you know, the panel for that call it the age of distrust. Some people actually call it the post-factual world. And the word for 2016, as per the Oxford Dictionary voted, is post-truth. So if you look at it, uh, many of us would have seen Chinese synthetic cabbages being made. Have you seen any one of that? Synthetic cabbages being made? Right, you've seen it? You would have heard this about Donald Trump saying in 1980s to People magazine that, you know, if I were to run for president, I would, I would be uh, running for Republicans because they're the dumbest voters on earth. You saw that as well. Uh, you heard that, you must have seen that WhatsApp forward on Jalita's secret daughter, or that image of Modi sweeping the floor when he was young. Now, this is what the world is. It's a post-factual world. And I believe that we've gone beyond, you know, the CNN, IBMs of the world, beyond Facebook and Twitter to actually WhatsApp. If I were to say the most powerful medium right now in the post-factual world, I, I would say it's the WhatsApp. Now, this for us, and many of us are participants in this post-factual world. We actually get this WhatsApp, or we get it on Facebook and just forward it across to people. We are actually coming into a world where there are two kind of two kind of people. So there would be a kind of people who would say that, you know, they believe in they believe in what is coming in, all the bull that comes in, they believe in it, and there are people who disbelieve in it. Is as an industry, is there something that we can do about it? We, you know, we are very good in crowdsourcing. Let me give you an example. You know, there is a website called Snopes. Has anybody heard of Snopes? Who's heard of Snopes? Okay. You know what Snopes is? Anything that gets forwarded and used to come as an email before, used to actually verify it by a, by a crowdsourcing mechanism that say whether it's true or false or there is some truth in it. Can we, as a community, get together and do it? Maybe Amit or Amit, Amit are you there? Amit Prabhu? Amit, can you take that up or maybe somebody can take that up? I think that'll be a very interesting interesting contribution from the PR fraternity towards, towards truth. That's one part. The second one I would say is, uh, is that as a community, we are very metrocentric. Not just metrocentric, we are very Delhi and Bombay centric. If you look at our campaigns today, we actually do campaigns based on Delhi, Bombay, and then we replicate to the rest of the, rest of the country. Rajdeep used to call it the tyranny of distance. You know, I would say that it's Probably for us, it's a tyranny of comfort. We don't go beyond our comfort zone and the media that we consume and think of anything else. For example, let me, is anybody from Shillong here? Anybody from Shillong? 
No, we're talking about Shillong, yeah? If you were to go to Shillong and you'd have to choose a medium so that everybody in Shillong gets to know your information, which medium would you choose? Any guesses? Would you choose the Shillong Times? Would you choose Facebook, Twitter? What will you choose? Take a wild guess. Radio, no. Take another guess. Sorry? Twitter, no. No Facebook. I'll tell you what it is. You'll be surprised with that. With that. You will, you will use, no, not Chinese whispers, you will use the public address system. If you go to Shillong, there's this huge number of public, you know, uh, public address systems which is there. So anybody wants to broadcast a piece of news in Shillong, you just take the public address system. Now that is something which is very unique to Shillong. Are we, and there is therefore something which is unique to every town as well. Are we thinking about that? Are we thinking about, or are, you, are we just saying, okay, we need to do a launch of a car, or we do a launch of a product, shall we just replicate this press conference or a launch event in 15 cities and use the most favorite one is as you local celebrities? That's one part of it all. Second one that I'd like to uh, talk about is, is affirmative action from our industry. How much time and effort have we spent as an industry to develop talent outside the metros? Is there an affirmative action that we have taken to develop agencies outside the metros or we just think of regional agencies as just network PR and just send out a press release and say how many, how many uh, you know, publications have carried it? Uh, there are some excellent you know, examples that have come up. Selesh from Simulations is Selesh here. You know, Khurshid from Advantage in Bihar. You know, Khurshid actually did some brilliant work and got a global, a global, global prize, you know, with, with an agency just sitting out of Patna in Bihar, PK Kurana. And I'm actually happy that, that the young PR professional of the year, the jury decided to actually give it to a person who we, who we believe uh, represents somebody outside the metros. Uh, and uh, Exchange for Media, has actually done another pioneering work by having an award category for beyond the metros. Now my last point is to, is an appeal to a few people in the room, uh, not all of you, few people in the room. And uh, you know, we in India, I come from the startup sector, and we in India take this particular pride. So there was this lot of startup founders who say that you know, I made an exit, which means basically sold out to a, to a large company and made money. Now, uh, advertising world is full of exits. I think the time has now come for the PR industry in India to actually go beyond the boundaries, not think of exits, but actually go out, expand and buy companies outside. Blue Focus from China did that. Blue Focus actually started in China around, you know, around a decade back, or maybe two decades back. And around seven, eight years back, started buying up agencies, starting in Singapore, then UK, then US, then Canada. I do sincerely hope that agencies from India go out and do that. Madan, are you here? Madan? Rajesh? Madan, yes. So Madan, I hope that you will, go, you will be the first agency in, from India to actually go and make a big acquisition out there in the US or Europe and we will raise a toast and we will celebrate that. Uh, the lot of new agencies have come up in the, in the last few years. I think some of them are doing a tremendous job. Uh, some of the work that I'm familiar with, and forgive me if I'm not taking names of people who I'm not, whose work I'm not familiar with. Kunal Kishore, uh, Value 360, are you there Kunal? Kunal, I think you're doing a fabulous job concentrating on, on startups. I think you should. And, uh, and do remain, do, do remain a, an independent agency, go out and buy, open another you know, firm in the US where you can maybe buy some more, uh, another startup firm there in the valley. Uh, Aman Shivani from SPAG. Aman Shivani, are you there? Yes. I hope you do go out, make some good healthcare acquisition. I've just realized that you branched out into something else as well, but please do go out. And all the other agencies here, agency founders, I think it's time 
for us to show that Indian firms can go out and, and make acquisitions and be and set global standards. Thank you.